So have you ever thought about running a marathon then? What about running a marathon every month for four years. We know someone who's been doing exactly that. Let's go straight to New York and welcome Johnny Donnelly, a man on a mission to eradicate poverty and fresh off the back of the New York Marathon himself. Well done. I'm very impressed that you're still standing, Johnny. But, you know, tell us first of all, how do marathons and fighting poverty um, work together? Well, basically, it, it kind of started three years ago where I was in a situation where um, my son was very sick and we were in a situation where he, we didn't know whether he was going to survive or not. So on a few occasions, he, we were sitting there watching him and we didn't think he was going to survive. And there was one instance where we thought he was gone and my wife gave mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation to Harry and he, he came back. And at that stage, I decided I wanted to do something to help give something back to somebody. Um, because of the fact that somebody was looking after Harry. And I came across this uh, charity in, in the Southern Ireland called Sea Change Foundation, and they deal with microcredit projects around the world whereby the poorest of the poor get tiny loans to help get themselves out of extreme poverty. And I decided to do something that I didn't want to do, and I didn't want to travel, so I decided to basically run around the world. So I'm on Marathon 53 at the moment, and uh, the charity has raised about, about a quarter, about a half million dollars actually, and they've helped start up microcredit projects in, um, in Haiti at the moment, which is badly needed, and in Kenya as well through an organization called uh, Jami Bora. It's an amazing thing, but one marathon um, every month for four years, that has just got to kill you some days. What keeps you going? Well, it's actually worse than that. I, I started out doing one a month, but actually um, it's, it's going to end up with probably two every, every month at the moment um, because of the fact that they're all on top of each other. What keeps me going is a very simple thing. Um, four euro at, at, the, at the moment, or five dollars, changes a life in Haiti. And very similar through Jamie Bora in Kenya, it does the same thing. And when you're in a situation where you're, you're watching your, your child possibly not make it, at that very second, you realize the value of life and there is no value of it, it's actually priceless. So for me, every time I come back from a marathon and the charity explains to me that they've raised X, Y, and Z, that for me turns into, into life in that $5 is one person's life. And when it's something like that is invaluable, it's a very easy thing to, to just stop everything that I'm doing and just, and just try and do this and, and get help as well. And that's why with, with the marathon running, People can join, with, join me on any marathons around the world and raise money for the charity that way, or else they can donate directly online as well. So when you're in that situation where you, you have a value on life, and as that woman just said there from New York a second ago that she's not going to complain anymore, that's exactly the way it should be, that we should just get on with it, because the world is a funny place at the moment for, for everybody, but there is people, a child dies every 10 seconds from hunger or a preventable disease, and we, should, we just need to stand up and do something about it, I think. I just knew that uh, what that woman said in the previous piece was going to resonate with you particularly, Johnny. Um, what have yes. you learnt along the way? I suppose I've learnt, I've learnt the value of life. I mean, for me, the hardest part for me is travelling around the world. And all I want to do now is actually, I've done the race today, I just want to get home. Um, and I suppose family, with the recession around the world at the moment as well, people need to spend more time, more time with each other and understand the value of life whereby a lot of people tend to complain at the moment about not having enough money, not having enough this, not having enough that, but they've got their family. Because if you were told that your family are going to be taken away if you, if, or else you wanted a million dollars, be, there'd be no, you wouldn't want the money, you would just want your family. So it's just about getting back to, back to basics again and understanding the value of life and what we have. We have running water, we've got food, we've got places to go, and more importantly, we've got hope. But the people in the, in the poorest parts of the world, they have nothing. And, and they rely on people from the outside world to come in and, and, and help their lives. And it's such a small thing for us to do, but at the same time, it's, it's turning people's lives around and it's vitally important at the moment. Just before um, we have to wrap up, Johnny, I just want to quote a part of a poem that you wrote when you were five years old. Running is a lovely sport, I hope you all agree. If you feel fit and well, please come and run with me. So, on that note then, what do people have to do if they want to come and run with you Forrest Gump style? Well, they can go on the website, which is runjohnnyrun.ie, and in there they can join, get, get in contact with us. They can join in any marathon around the world, or else they can run the marathon themselves and raise money for the charity, or else they can get a link then to Sea Change Foundation, which is the charity, and from there you'll get information on Fonkosi, which is doing great work in Haiti, 
and Jami Bora, which is doing amazing work in Kenya. And do whatever you can, because every $5 will change a person's life forever. And it's vital. Thank you. Johnny Donnelly, thank you so much for, uh, for spending time with us today. I really do appreciate it. Now go and um, have a pedicure or put your feet up or something like that until the next time. Good to I speak wish. to you. Thanks very much. <laughs> thank you.